So I'm Catherine Brannigan, I am a first year course surgical trainee and I am currently um, in training in Yorkshire. Okay, so Catherine, I understand that you went to medical school through a slightly different route than most, is that right? It is, yes. So I um, was able to get a graduate place at medical school and I went to Warwick Medical School, so that's a four year um, degree. Okay, so what do you mean by a graduate place? So what a graduate place is, it means that I have uh, a previous degree before I start a medical school. Um, uh, graduate school, you can either um, achieve your medical degree in four years or five years. A bonus with the four year degree is that obviously it's a lot quicker um, and also you only pay fees usually for your first year. I see, okay. so. Does, is this only limited to the, your university that you've gone to or is there some other university do them as well? So Warwick Medical School is unique in that it only offers graduate medicine as a degree but there are many other universities across the country um, who offer graduate medicine alongside their traditional five and six year degrees. I see, so they get mixed in together with um, the, the 18 year olds who goes to medical school straight away. Is that they right? do and um, it, I think that some people can see that as a bonus or as a negative. Personally for me, mm -hmm. uh, I was very happy to go to one of the traditional medical schools. Um, but uh, obviously um, going to Warwick um, and uh, I think personally for me it was the fees that was really helpful. I see, I see. So would you recommend this to other people who's, um, who's maybe done a degree already and thinking about, oh actually I want to go to medical school as well? Yeah, personally for me I always wanted to be a doctor but I didn't get the A-level grades. Um, and looking back, it was a bit of a worrying time at 18, not getting into medical school. But mm. now with hindsight, it, it's no issue. And mm. um, I think the, the added degree and then being able to work in industry for two years has really helped me. Mm. Other people that I met at Warwick Medical School, they did their degree and they didn't know what to do. Um, and then they thought actually a career as a doctor would be good for them. Uh, so there's different pathways really how people have I see. got there. So I suppose you, you might even say that you know, by having some time out doing a previous degree and actually working in, you know, out there in the industry, as it were, mm -hmm. actually help you ground a little bit as well. I think so. I think personally for me, um, now with hindsight, I would have found it difficult to take on the role and the stress and the responsibility of a doctor at mm -hmm. 24 years old. Many people achieve it really well. Mm -hmm. I'm glad that I did it actually the route that I did. I see. So do you have any advice for people who is you know, maybe apply to medical school and did get into the first time? I think firstly it's really hard when you're 18, um, especially with all your friends going off to uni and you think, oh gosh, I'm left at home. Um, another year is nothing in the kind of span of life really. Mm -hmm. um, I think that get, get lots of advice, try and get a mentor, and this is at all stages in life, but at 18, get someone who's in medical school or a new doctor, they might be able to give you advice as well. There's lots of advice out there as well. Um, but I think ultimately don't give up if you want to be a doctor, believe in yourself and you'll get there in the end. That's great, thank you very much. Thank you. Is there anything else you want to let us know? Um, anything else I want to let you know? <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> It's a good career and it's been worth it.